Hey team, it's Dr. George here, and I'd been sent the question about what's the difference between the two masks on offer by Sumlab. So I have actually purchased both the Air Queen mask and the Nano mask, and I just want to show you the actual difference. So I'm just going to open up the packet of the Nano mask. Boop, ba -doop. Okay, so this is how the Nano mask comes in the packet and it is very similar to the vast majority of masks that you will see. Now it's a traditional kind of shape and it has good coverage across the face and it has a little bar across here that you can close it up against the nose. So you can see it from the side, there's a good seal underneath the chin and it's a good seal across the cheeks and down around there. Now this is the Air Queen and I wanna show you the difference there. So it's got this panel at the front and then it has these two leaves. There's one at the bottom and there's one at the top. So it, it opens out like a clam and it fits across the face slightly differently and that goes underneath the chin there. This goes across the nose, but you can see that there's more room for the nose. So the main differences are the forward projection of the mask. What I would say is if you are Anglican with a, you know, the, the white guy face, it's probably the easiest way to say it, the white guy face tends to be further forward projection. So this mask is more comfortable because it allows space be between the tip of the nose and the mask. I found this mask was comfortable, but there was a little bit of pressure on the tip of the nose. So if you have a more Asiatic face shape, which is a little bit flatter, then this mask is gonna be equally as comfortable um, and you shouldn't have any pressure against the tip of the nose that I did with my big white nose. So both masks are made with the same nanofiber material. Both masks filter at a level that is comparable to an N95 mask. Um, one thing to note is this particular, the Air Queen mask, is FDA listed. This mask is not FDA listed and I'm not quite sure whether that's because they tried and it got rejected or they just didn't bother and they just went for this mask. I imagine getting listed is an expensive process, but I do not know the answer to that. But what I can say is both masks filter at a very high quality level and both masks can be cleaned using isopropyl alcohol or ethanol 10 times in a cycle and I'll pop a little link to a video that explains how to do that. I would say to you that really the deciding choice is comfort. Really, if you are uh, if you have a more Asiatic style face with a with a, a flatter nose, so your nose is not as projected, this is probably going to be a comfortable choice for you. Um, but if you have a nose that projects forward a little bit more, I would probably go with the Air Queen mask because you're going to have a little bit more room and a little bit more comfort. So that's the main differences. Other than that, they both filter equally well. They both filter at a very high level. It's just about what's going to be the best fit for you. I'll put a link for both below. I hope that helped answer your question. Have a great day. See you, team.